This is John Pluto, GeorgiaBees.com. I'm going to discuss the options of uh, pros and cons of feeding bees, open feeding outside. If someone asks me, should you feed outside, I say yes. And if someone asks me if you feed outside, I, should, I say also say no. It all depends on in each individual and time of year. This is one little idea. Uh, some people use open barrels. I love it. Uh, when, when a neighbor does it. What happens though is when you feed outside, you also uh, you're also feeding yellow jackets, uh, and any other wild bees that, that that might be close to you. And so, this is a great time to be able to uh, kill yellow jackets. But th these right here are buckets that that I have uh, recently done honey with. We're cleaning them off. These are wax cappings. Uh, when you put them outside when they're wet, it's a good time to get them cleaned off so you can further process the wax. We also put out uh, any kind of, uh, uh, you can also put out wet uh, wet honey supers and they will, uh, clean, they will clean your uh, frames off really nice. But what happens is, in an emergency, uh, this is late fall, and if you want to speed things up, you can go ahead and, and feed, and then you can kill yellow jackets at the same time. But as you can see, the, the bees really like this. What this is, these are just jars. So what I'm fixing to do right now is to add a second jar out here because the bees, when you tip this up, you can see how uh, they really like it. This is just a one-to-one -one sugar mixture. I'm gonna let these ones here uncongregate a little bit. What I'm fixing to do is I'm gonna fix add a second jar right next to it so I can spread them out a little bit more. Try to get rid of this little bunch right here. Kill me a few yellow jackets. I'm going to move it over a little bit because some of the syrup has dripped. What happens is when you have this many bees, they're sucking out so fast, it actually makes it, the syrup drip out quicker than uh, the other bees can get it. And it, it, it causes, causes the syrup to go all, all top of, over the other bees. But no, no, you know, like right now though, they are normally pretty gentle. They ain't gonna just sting you. And you can sit there and play with them a little bit, except for those yellow jackets. But these are just the uh, these are the five pound uh, syrup jar tipped upside down with your holes and all I'm using are little blocks of wood so the, ho the hobby beekeeper that, that needs to do some emer quick emergency feeding can, can, can do this right here and also your honey buckets and, and, and your wax cappings blocks my preferred method is using bottles though we're going to show you on, on some of my hives over here these are just these are, these are some little nuke boxes. I'm trying to get them uh, raised up for the winter. The way these little feed bottles work, it's a uh, one three eighths inch hole drilled on the top of my hives, but we have a plastic retainer, and the, the bees are actually we have uh, four little holes, five five holes on, on, on my larger size uh, bottles. And these are 1 16th inch holes just to get grabbers, the smallest drill bit that comes from the factory. And when you have them full, when you tip them over, it, it, it creates a vacuum. And when we go to pull them, we just pull the old bottle out. And the bees are raring to go to get some more. And they will start feeding right away now the other thing you want to do though is, is also start reducing your entrances 
uh, because this does possibly cause robbing, uh, not, not in these bottles here, but, but on the open feeding. And another, another thing that I think about is if you have robbing going on, you can start open feeding and that'll keep most of your hives busy and keep them occupied. This one here looks a little active. And so this time of year, we, we, you can tell, tell I've re recently cleaned this hive here. The entrance is, is reduced. We're gonna go ahead and throw my, throw my new feed bottle on. Now, what happens is, if you if you leave the box if, if you leave the bottles on, uh, while while the uh, syrup is empty, they they will put propolis in the in the little holes, and so just a a, a little uh, uh, thin nail, you sit there and poke the little propolis back out, and they're they're ready to use again. Sometimes in the fall, you, you may want to go to a thicker syrup if, if you need the feed put on. The bees have not found this other jar yet, but they're, they're slowly finding it. But as you can see, they do like it. This is just one alternate way of trying to feed. Hope this gives you an idea. Don't let your bees starve. John Pluto, GeorgiaBees.com or GeorgiaBees.blogspot.com for, for more detailed daily information. Happy beekeeping.